In today's video, we're gonna share my five tips of how to increase your watch time. So if you're struggling to increase your watch time to get monetized on YouTube and to start really blowing up your channel, and you're not too sure where you're going wrong, well, these five tips are gonna help you increase your watch time dramatically and grow that much faster on YouTube. So if this sounds like you, let's get into the video. How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simplicity. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you are brand new to the channel, we're all about building your brand, business and impact online through social media marketing. So maybe you wanna quit that nine to five job, start a side hustle or create a business, then this is the channel for you to learn just how you can do that. So consider joining the Creator Nation, click that big red button down below and ring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Of course, at any point, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel, helps us get the videos out there so we can reach more people, turning their dream into a reality. Now, before I share my five secret tips of how to increase your watch time, let me know in the comment section down below, where are you in your YouTube journey? Have you just started? Are you trying to get monetized on YouTube? Or are you just trying to increase your watch time so that your videos can get out there and get more views? Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really curious to know where you guys are in your YouTube career. So let's jump right into the five steps. And the first one is, now this one you may have heard before, it may sound silly, it may sound obvious, but I feel like it is really important if it's done correctly. And that is to make longer videos. And for simply put it this way, if you create a video that's five minutes long and only people are watching 30% of that, you're only getting about two minutes, 15 seconds of watch time. Whereas if you create a 10 minute video, you're more than likely going to get a three minute to four minute watch time. So you can really see the advantages of just creating a longer video. It simply means the average view duration is likely to be longer because even if people only watch 20% of both videos, 20% is going to be longer for a 10 minute video than it is on a five minute video. Now this is the tricky part guys. This is where people can get a bit messed up on creating longer videos. Don't just create longer videos for the sake of getting more watch time. If it doesn't need to be 10 minutes long, then don't make it 10 minutes long. This is the huge mistake that a lot of new YouTubers or even larger creators can make the same mistake by dragging out videos that don't need to be dragged out. For example, you're simply just showing somebody how to do something on the computer. You don't want to drag it out by talking about all this irrelevant stuff that's likely to get people to click off the video and therefore your watch time is probably going to be less than it would have been if you just got right to the point. So never create a video longer than it needs to be. Make sure there's always a purpose behind the video and make it only as long as it needs to be. Now when I say create longer videos, I mean think of video ideas that actually need to be longer. And this is the trick to creating longer videos because you're creating videos that people are going to enjoy because they actually need to be 10 minutes long to, to share all of the information that you have or to show somebody how to do something, whatever it might be. If it needs to be 10 minutes long, this is what I mean by creating longer videos. If you can find videos that need to be longer, they're gonna keep your audience interested and there's still a purpose behind why it needs to be longer and why the audience needs to keep watching the video for longer. This is gonna help you increase your average view duration and your watch time just by simply creating videos that need to be longer in duration. So longer videos is really gonna help you increase your watch time. It may sound silly just creating longer videos. You may have tried that before and it didn't work. Well, it all comes down to what kind of video you're creating and also you've created the video and edited the video to make people enjoy the video and to watch it for a good period of time. These other steps are going to continue on to this one. So let's move on to step number two. Step number two is to add B-roll. B-roll is really, really important, especially if it's just a sitting down video where you're just sitting in front of the camera talking to your audience. This can be really, really boring. Just think of it like this. If you were just sitting talking to a friend or talking to a coworker, whoever it might be, even that can be quite boring. But if it's just behind a screen, somebody just sitting there talking to you, you can imagine that's a bit of a snore fest and you don't want that in your YouTube video. So whenever you're talking about something, have some kind of B-roll to show the audience exactly what you're talking about. It's gonna make it more interesting and they're more likely to watch your video for longer. So whatever it might be, if you're talking about the YouTube studio, show them the YouTube studio. If you've got B-roll of just showing an example of a meeting, whatever it might be that you're talking about that can relate to that topic, show some B-roll of that footage so that it's not just you staring at a screen talking about a topic. 
B-roll is really gonna help you increase your watch time because it's gonna keep the audience interested in your video and they're more likely to watch it for longer. So B-roll is really, really important no matter what it is, especially if it's a sitting down video, you'll find there's at least five points that you're talking about that you could actually show B-roll of what you're talking about to keep the audience interested and hooked to keep watching the video. Tip number three is to start every video with a hook. And what I mean by this is, it's as simple as having an intro. You need to start your video with a hook to let the person to know exactly why they're watching this video and what they're gonna gain from watching your video. So if it's a video about how to fix your lawnmower, make sure within the first 10 seconds they know exactly you're gonna be showing them how to fix that lawnmower quickly, efficiently, and, and that they've simply clicked on the right video to begin with. If you can tell somebody why they're watching this video and why they should keep watching this video to keep the audience engaged, hooked to wanna to watch the video for a longer period of time. The hook is crucial. So anywhere between the first 10 seconds and 20 seconds, you wanna make sure you've got a hook in your video, explaining to your audience what your video is about, what knowledge they're gonna gain and what value they're gonna gain from watching that video and why they should keep watching the video all the way to the end. Now it's unrealistic to expect them to watch the whole video. So don't just start off with a hook, then drag out the video and then have the example at the end. You just frustrate your audience and they're going to leave anyway. It's also unrealistic to expect people to watch the whole video as well. Never expect that everybody's gonna watch your video for the full length. Yes, you will have a percentage of people that do because they love your content, but you can't expect that everybody who clicks on your video is going to watch the full length video. This is why making sure you put a hook in there to get them to at least keep watching the video for a longer period of time because you've told them exactly what they're gonna gain from watching your video and, and what value you've added to that video that's gonna keep them watching the video. So adding a hook is really, really important. Make sure you get that out in the first couple of sentences of your video to keep your audience hooked. Tip number four is to include info cards, end screens, and also links in the description. This is just like asking somebody to subscribe to your video. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You can obviously tell somebody that, hey, I've actually done a video more in depth about this, check it out in the info cards, and they can go ahead and click on that at the end of the video, or they might even click on that whenever you put that info card in the video. But it's really important to let people know why those info cards are there. You can't just have info cards popping up. If people really aren't sure why that info card is there in the first place, so just just like reminding someone to subscribe, you need to let somebody know that there's other videos that they'll be interested in because they enjoyed this video. Letting them know that there's a part that you didn't really go into detail about, that you've got another video about that they would find interesting. Info cards is really, really important to have throughout your video. And then of course, having an end screen for the people that did make it all the way through the video, they can check out your other videos because clearly they enjoyed that one. They're likely to enjoy your other videos as well. So end screens are really, really important. A lot of people just think there's no point because nobody's getting to the end of their video, but think about it, if you had a thousand views and even 10% made it to the end of that video, that's 10% of people that could have watched your other videos, which is gonna give you watch time on your current video and the other videos that you linked in the end screen. So instead of it just being a one view, that could potentially be two to three to five views on all of your other videos as well. And this is gonna increase your overall watch time, which is going to trigger the YouTube algorithm to share more and more of your videos. So end screens, info cards, and links in the description, hugely, hugely important. Make sure you're letting your audience know that they're there. Don't just assume they know that they're there. Remind them that, hey, this video they'll be interested in as well. All of these things is gonna help them to watch more and more of your videos. And the end goal here, guys, is to get them to watch one video, to another video, to another video. Another great way of doing this is through YouTube playlists. So definitely link playlists as well, but link info cards, end screens, and links in the description are hugely important if you wanna increase your watch time is by getting people to watch more of your videos after watching that current video. And tip number five is more of an obvious one, but it needs to be said is to create searchable slash clickable titles and thumbnails. This may sound like an obvious one, you probably think you're already doing this correctly, but chances are, look at your click-through rate, look at how many people are clicking on your videos, look at how many impressions you're getting. If people are not being engaged by your titles and by your thumbnails, you might need to work on that to get more clicks on your videos. But not only that, you need to make sure that your titles and thumbnails are searchable. Make sure you're using keywords and you're creating videos that people are always going to be searching for, evergreen content that's going to allow you to get more people into that video, more people into your channel. Because once again, if you create a video that does take off and you've added end screens and info cards, 
not only has one video taken off, but that's gonna blow up your entire channel because ideally 10% of those views will go towards your other videos and you're gonna get more watch time and more views overall in your whole channel. This is why it's really, really important to use all of these five steps when creating every single video on the off chance if one blows up, that's gonna blow up your whole channel. The last thing that you want is one video to blow up and it doesn't actually affect your channel whatsoever. Just because people watch one video, you got a million views on this one video that blew up. If you didn't follow all of these steps and get people to watch your other videos, getting people to subscribe, getting people to interact with your videos, then your channel isn't really gonna grow from that one video. So all of these steps are hugely, hugely important. Make sure that you, if you do have a video blow up, you've done everything that you can to try use that growth in traffic to draw it into your other videos. If you guys did find these five tips helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried any of these, if this has worked for you. Love to hear you guys' feedback. And if you did find this video helpful, I know you'll love these other videos. Go ahead and check those out and I'll see you. Peace out.